everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs, and I have a really fun project for you today. I'm super excited to be guest blogging at the Ranger Inc. blog using some awesome Dina Wakely Media products. Now, I got um, the entire set of the new colors of paints of the heavy body acrylics, as well as the Dina Wakely Media Board. These are canvas boards, very, very thick and sturdy. I have the 9 by 12 as well as the smaller sizes that you can see here. They come in 5 by 7, 4 by 6, and 3 by 3, which are really fun sizes. I know Dina uses them a lot for bookmaking and that kind of thing, but I am... Um, loving making uh, canvas pieces, kind of taking some of my art journal ideas and putting them on canvas. So that's what I decided to do today on the large 9x12 media board. So you can see I started by a technique that I saw Dina do, which is I wet my canvas first, and then I started applying the paint. And what that did was that created kind of a wash right on my surface and you can see towards the right hand side it looks more watercolor and on the left hand side it's more of that thicker paint look and I love the transition of this that effect on one piece. So I let it dry naturally which was super hard for me but I did because in order to get all of those variances of the paints blending and mixing together you really need to let it set aside and dry on its own. So I added some texture with one of Dina Wakely's stamps and her new ink pad. I used the color Night and now I'm bringing in some more texture with some paint and um, a dilution stencil just to kind of continue the dots around my page so I have some smaller dots and I have some larger dots and I also wanted to bring some more white into my canvas because I tend to cover it all with paint and I needed to bring some more and brighten that up. So now I am taking one of her stencils and I'm using her new color Elephant. I just gotta say I love the names of her paints. They're so awesome. I mean who doesn't want cheddar paint and elephant paint and um I think my favorite colors are the ocean and evergreen, which I used for the background. So pretty. I'm actually bringing in some of this fuchsia color and blending it with that gray elephant color and just sponging on this stencil. Now, once I have this completely on there and it's dry, sort of, I came in with a Stabilo All pencil. And this is a water-based pencil. And I was trying to do some light sketching to kind of define some of the areas. And I totally messed up on her nose. I tried to wipe it away and I made it worse. Almost completely started over, but I thought, no, let's see what happens when I do the next step because I knew I wanted to add some flowers all around on her hair just to kind of create like this really beautiful crown of flowers. I'm obsessed with um, creating abstract florals. I wanted to make these really wet and drippy, so I thought, let's just move on and see what we can do. A lot of times you can cover up any mistakes that you might make when you're working on mixed media because you're working in layers and you can always add the layer on top, cover it up with gesso, there's all kinds of ways to cover up those kind of mistakes. So I am adding some more water here, I'm using the Distress Sprayer and then I brought in her Mica Spray which is absolutely pretty, it adds this kind of subtle shimmer pearlescent look to the paints let that all drip and mix down the page. I got a little bit of muddy with the blue and the orange so I just mopped that up with a paper towel and it was all good again. So I love those drips. It covered up my little mistake perfectly. I love how we have kind of a combination of the thick um, texture of the paints as well as it fades away into those water drips and I'm just super happy. Again, you want to let that dry naturally. I did try to speed it up with a heat tool but that just does not work. You're going to change the texture of the paint. Just set it aside. You can work on something else. Um, let it dry and you're going to get some really interesting effects as those paints dry and blend and mix together. So I'm taking the All Pencil again, which is a water-based pencil, and I'm kind of defining some of the areas of the stencil, the bottom of the face, her lips. I added some shoulders and I'm just adding some more um, light dimension or um, 
detail to the flowers. Um, again, I wanted to keep this super, super abstract, so not a whole lot. I'm bringing in Night the Paint using one of her fine tip applicators to create some textured centers. So we have that really loose water, um, drippy effect with the flowers, and then in the middle it's really thick, and I've got those really cool dark centers. Just love the mix of texture there. So I'm bringing in this stencil, um, it's a dilution stencil, and I mixed the evergreen and the ocean colors together. They make such a beautiful teal color, and I'm sponging in just some leaves around the flowers to add some more interest and um, kind of just make that really, really pretty crown of flowers on her head. I'm taking some of that paint just with my fingers, adding it around the canvas to tie that color in and now I'm going in again now that my flowers are completely dry I can go in and add a little bit more scribbly detail to each of the flowers there and um, also I'm going to do the same thing around the leaves I just want to tie that all in I want this focus to be very loose and, and scribbly so now I'm getting ready to finish my piece by adding a quote and I'm just using a um, brush tip pen and kind of um, scribbling on this quote and then I'm going to take a white gel pen and outline that but I wanted to darken up that black first so I'm going to bring in um, a, another paint marker that is a thicker opaque type and I'm going to outline all of that black writing and then I'll go back in and um, highlight all of my writing with a white gel pen. I just love the look of the white gel pen around the black words. Um, I think it really pops off the page and um, it's kind of like my finishing touch on anything that I'm adding my own personal handwriting to. So I'm just adding that and that pretty much completes the page. I um, hope you enjoyed seeing this fun canvas come together. I really love the media board. It is super thick. It handles so much um, medium on it. I had tons of water, tons of paint, and it is just holding up so nice. Um, it warped a little bit like anything will uh, with water, but it kind of flattens back out as it dries. So I wanted to show you the really pretty mica. You can see it right there. Oh my gosh, that is just like the perfect finishing touch to anything you're working on. Anytime you want to add a little bit of pop or shimmer, I think any of the mica sprays, the new mica sprays are a must have. It's just such a fun detail and interest to my canvas and I will be using that a ton. I love all of these new paint colors. Um, I love how they're kind of muted and they have kind of a more um, richer jewel tone to them I think and um, they work so well with the other colors because you can see I use the magenta from the original line of paints and they just work together so pretty. So here are some close-ups of my canvas, my finished piece. I absolutely love the mix of texture that I got using the heavy body acrylics with lots and lots of water and that beautiful pop of shimmer with the mica sprays. I want to thank Ranger for having me as a guest blogger today. I had so much fun creating this for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, for a full list of supplies and products that I use, be sure to check out the Ranger Inc. blog. Everything will be listed there. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I know you want to see more videos like this one. And thanks for watching. Bye.